Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for First Fight! And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Slap Fight Championship Underground. My name is Daniel Austin, alongside Daniel Jubitsky for seven slap fighting contests, two of which will be title matchups, Daniel, as well as two slap ass contests as well. Yes, uh, I'm very interested in how it will uh, look like uh, to tonight. Uh, we'll have, uh, as the name is saying, underground uh, venue, uh, so it will, you know, at uh, some uh, specific uh, atmosphere uh, here. Yeah, Slap Fighting Championship continues to evolve, continues to change, and continues to show us new things all the time. Right now, we have got Piccolo against Bakush. Daniel, what are your thoughts on this matchup before the first slap is thrown? Uh, this is uh, a light heavyweight match, uh, so 220 uh, pounds oh. limit, and we can see uh, the first slap. Uh, E uh, each uh, fight will uh, have uh, uh, three slaps per uh, per person. If there will be uh, a draw after that uh, three slaps per person, there will be a, a, an additional uh, slap uh, over time. Well, I think that he's going to need an additional slap there because uh, Piccolo didn't even flinch almost on that first one. Take another look at it here. Watch this. Bam. He hit him as hard as he could. It was his first time. He's making his debut here in Slap Fighting Championship. So maybe just getting warmed up there. But I think that uh, Piccolo just took that literally right on the chin and just rolled with it. Yes. Being uh, effective in a slap fighting requires you a proper uh, technique. You, you have to know uh, how to uh, hit your opponent to knock him out because they are full of uh, knockouts. The, the slap fighting uh, championship events are totally full of knockouts. Yeah, you want to get it done on the first time because you don't want to get hit. <laughs> now, yes. now he's going to have to eat one. Whoa! Whoa. He's you could still see, up, though. Yeah, you could see what I was speaking uh, about. Here's a knockdown, but he has uh, a time uh, to recover. Yep. And if he will be able to continue, he will uh, simply continue. It's not a knockout yet. No, it ain't over yet. He's thinking about it. He's trying to get his wits about him here. He'll make it to round number two, but just barely. Let's see this again. Look at the size, though. These are two different sized individuals here. And obviously, size does matter here, Daniel. Yes, definitely. Uh, Piccolo is uh, 14 pounds heavier here. Yep. So uh, this is uh, the and more experienced yes. as well. Yes, too. Definitely. He's, he's been we've seen him before uh, when we were previously known as punch down on a couple of different occasions. Goodness gracious. Round number two coming up here. Let's see what Bakush can do this time. Oh, and he hits him again. And he, well, he did a little bit more damage that time. Yes, uh, but uh, from the other hand, uh, Piccolo uh, looked uh, hard like as a rock. Yeah, he, he did, his knees buckled just a bit that time, but I think that uh, uh, Bakush did a little bit better. Maybe we should uh, talk about it uh, now, uh, at the beginning, uh, during the first uh, fight, because we will have a mix uh, up, uh, very um, nice mix of uh, different participants. Here we have uh, prof performer pro canoist, uh, and uh, from the uh, other side, we will have a gym uh, fanatic. Also, did you notice his right foot came up off the ground? That's a, actually a foul. I don't know if anybody caught that or not. I just saw it here on the replay. You have to keep both feet on the ground. Uh, but like you said, uh, Bakush is a, uh, is a canoeist. He did canoeing, and so he definitely has a very strong upper body. And you can see that he's very cut and ripped coming in here. Uh, but he's still, I think, at a little bit of a disadvantage simply because of the size and the lack of experience, but sometimes all you need is guts in this. Whoa. Oh, and that time he may be out. He made out comes the mouth guard now, and he took a hard spill. This one could be over. He's got 30 seconds here, but unless somebody calls it off and steps in. They may ask him to take a few steps forward to see if he can continue or not. But a lot of times these guys, you know, their their toughness gets in the way of responsibility. Oh, and that's it. It's, it's over. Yeah. 
Yeah, he can't even walk. He needs to be escorted off the stage. That was a knockout, a huge knockout victory there for Piccolo. Have another look here. He caught him good there. That was just too much. The first one was bad enough. The second one, and it was game over. Uh, yes, and uh, two referees and, and judges, uh, Jacek Grzepiecki and Karol Matuszczak, who are a martial, Polish martial artist. Karol Matuszczak is a Polish MMA pioneer. Uh, decided just to end this uh, fight and uh, as we can see Piccolo won by a knockout. Yeah and if you saw in that replay he really generated a lot of power from his hips the way he was swiveling his body. Let's get the official announcement here in just a moment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by knockout, Karol Zerubek Piccolo! He promised uh, an additional win to his record and he did it. Put his money where his mouth was and he backed up everything he said. It was first awesome fight one more time folks big applause for these two fighters świeżo postaczonej walce e, i wygranej Karol, powiedz mi, no po prostu skomentuj swoją walkę. Jak to skomentujesz? Karol, tell, tell us something about your fight. Hello, everyone. I haven't uh, seen any other option than knockout. That was my only game plan. There was no other options for the end of this fight. About his opponent, I'm wishing him a fast recovery. I hope that uh, he is well and maybe he will fight again. Michał Bakuś, który zmierzył się z Piccolo, Karolem. Już doszedłeś do siebie. Pan. Are you recovered? Yes, everything's okay. I'm glad that I could challenge myself, that, 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 that could, could fight with so, such good fighter. I can see that uh, I'm, I, I'm lacking some experience. What can I say more? I have to work hard and we will see what the future will bring. I don't give up, I don't give up, absolutely. This is my first time when I'm fighting in a slap fighting championship, so we will see. Okay, it's time for next fight, first fight in a women's division. Let me welcome Monika Rosmus Baldek. H, 36, weight 70, one win, one defeat. I'm Monika Kwant Rosmus. I'm uh, 36 years old. I'm from Poznan. I'm uh, Waldek because of uh, my father, who always uh, wanted to have a son rather than a daughter. I'm uh, training judo for 12 years. Uh, I'm former uh, champion of Poland and I'm brown belt of judo. I'm also a professional soldier in army. I can uh, I, I can train, so I'm using it. Uh, this, this will be my third, third, third fight. Uh, I won uh, my debut. Uh, my second fight was a draw. I'm a muscled, uh, tough and uh, very sharp person, but uh, from the uh, inside I'm very gentle. I will win! Anya, my right hand is a death. Uh, I'm scared about my left hand, so watch out. And her opponent wearing white, Anna Andrzejewska! Debut in 
Anna Andrzejewska, 31 years old. I'm from Łódź. Sport was always in my life. I was training athletics, crossfit and boxing. My, uh, my achievement was uh, achieving pro card in uh, bodybuilding. Right now I'm an MMA fighter uh, in freak fights. I've decided uh, to fight in slap fighting championships uh, because uh, I like uh, challenge and uh, what I'm capable of. I'm a very strong woman and sharp. I will win because I'm simply better. Okay, it's time for round number one. And here we go, Daniel, our first female slap fight of the contest. This is not a slap ass match. This is a female slap fighting contest, just like we saw in the last time in the lightweight division. Uh, yes, uh, 155 uh, pounds, so, so 70 uh, point three kilos. Uh, we can see this. Uh, so, but here I can uh, see a higher limit, but uh, the ladies uh, are below uh, 155. Well, there you go. These are two very fit, very strong, very tough ladies and uh, I think this could be a very competitive matchup. Uh, yes, we, and with uh, a different uh, backgrounds once again uh, because uh, Monika Rosmus Waldek in black, uh, she's a judo fighter. From the other hand, uh, her opponent uh, is a, a fitness uh, uh, competition um, player, as I would say, uh, but uh, as you could uh, hear she trained uh, many other sports like athletics and boxing. And right now she is an MMA fighter. Uh, she is fighting uh, in uh, Polish freak fights. Hey, and I saw the referee just a moment ago warning her about getting her shoulders up too high. You do have to give your an opponent a target and you can't block with your shoulders. Oh! Whoa. Whoa, and that one shook her to the core, Daniel. Definitely. But uh, as you could hear, uh, Waldek has a uh, good, proper experience uh, in uh, his, her last fight. Uh, she fought in uh, uh -oh. slap fighting uh, formula. She's oh, shaking her okay. head no. She might be throwing in the towel already. I saw that that hit. When she got hit in the face, it went up and down her spine into her very soul, Daniel. And she is thinking long and hard about this, but I don't think it's going to continue. As I uh, said before, Waldek has a good experience. Uh, her last uh, slap fight uh, was with uh, former... That's it. Okay. They're calling it off. Yeah, you're, it's a good point that, uh, you know, Rosmus has the experience. Not only that, she won the coin toss. She's going first. And she was able to, to end it just with one slap. Uh, in the last fight, uh, Valdek uh, had a draw with former boxing oh, world man. champion. Uh, right now, uh, she uh, beat uh, the freak fighter and former boxer as well. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome well. to Slap Fighting Championship, Anna Andrzejewska. I don't know if she'll be back or not, Daniel. She may have just decided that this was not for her after one slap. I think uh, she, she could be convinced that it's not for her, definitely. I don't think that he expect that much power from uh, Valdek. Ooh, look at that. That was perfect. A perfect shot there. And she just got rattled that time. She didn't even need the 30 seconds to continue. She's like, you know what? I think I'm done. In MMA, we, sh we could uh, say about TKO. Here, probably day two. <laughs> After one slap, Andrzejewska is knocked out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have decision. Your winner by knockout, Monika Valdek Rosny. Matuszek raises the hand of uh, Monika Rosmus. One more applause. Well, she is going to be have to be taken very, very seriously in the future in slap fighting championship in the women's division.
Aniu. Aniu, um, what would you like to say uh, about z, your uh, fight? Uh, really nice uh, experience for me. I will be remaining this for a long time, despite the damage. Monika is very tough, very strong. I couldn't win. I couldn't uh, continue. I hope uh, that maybe sometime uh, I will uh, try again, stop fighting. But it's uh, definitely a different experience than what I, than this what I'm trained. So nice thing. The fight was very quick. Uh, how would you like to comment it? What can I say? I know that uh, my hand is uh, very strong. It's, it's that strong that it can uh, finish. I, I wasn't expecting uh, that it will be uh, so uh, fast, but I haven't took any damage. I was thinking uh, that uh, there will be free slaps me, free, free slaps her, but you can expect everything uh, from this kind of competition. Wow, that was awesome fight. And now we move to the fight number three. Let me introduce me, MK Kumalo! Age 21, debut in slap five. So my name is Mini Kumalo. I am 22 years old. So I come from Zimbabwe in Matebele land, in the city of Kings, Mziligazi. I'm a descendant of Mziligazi, the king of Ndebeles. I do go to the gym, I think 90% of my time. I train my body for fitness uh, and for discipline and for calming my mind and for self uh, growth, yeah. So currently, I'm doing my medical studies. So this is my first time uh, participating in SLEP uh, fighting championships. So currently, uh, the reason why I came here is because I want to find myself. I'm an athlete by nature. Uh, it's in my genes. So I want to find what's there for me in this, uh, in this spot. So that's, the, that's why I'm here. The most important thing in my life is my mother and my dad, number two. <laughs> I would definitely win. Because I'm not a loser, I always win. So definitely, I'm winning. I think my fight will be dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Hey, man, I hope you don't die. And his opponent wearing white, Pavel. Chevru! H25, debut in slap five. I'm Paweł Siewruk, I'm 25 years old, I'm from Poznań. Uh, four years I was uh, doing uh, like kickboxing and wrestling. In my uh, free time uh, I like car mechanics, uh, I love fast cars and here will be hell of a ride. Uh, every day I'm very calm but uh, I will be monster uh, to, tonight. Uh, I will say hello to my opponent because I know that uh, he came from very far. All right, Daniel, here we go. Next contest on the way. Slap Fighting Championship Underground Lightweight Division. Dr. Mini from Zimbabwe set to take on Poland's Paweł Siewruk as we take a look at the tail of the tape. Both men making their debuts here tonight. We can see that uh, MK is heavier than his opponent. From the other hand, uh, Polish man is uh, higher uh, than uh, fighter okay. from Zimbabwe. Are ready. Fighters ready to... So it's time for round number one. Yeah, there certainly is a height discrepancy between these two gentlemen. As uh, Siewruk, you can see almost head and shoulders taller than Dr. Mini. 
Let's see what he does with his first slap. Oh, no, that was weak. That was very weak. Well, it's easy for me to say he's not slapping me, but from what we've seen even earlier today, that just doesn't measure up, Daniel. Have you seen uh, the reaction of uh, MK? Uh, I have a feeling that he, he will be uh, like a raging bull right now. Uh, he uh, took that uh, slap like a, like a rock from the other hand, uh, so we will see how he will respond. He looks like he's uh, he's pretty short armed there. He may have trouble reaching across the table. I think he's gonna really have to stretch out in order to hit his opponent. See, look at that. He can barely even get his hand across the table. <laughs> that was way better than what Sievruk was able to do here. And a nice round of applause here from this audience. The real recognizes real. As I uh, said uh, before, Kumalo was significantly uh, heavier than Sievruk. Well, so, look at that. He definitely yeah. put his body weight behind that one, and that was the difference maker, is that when Sievruk threw his slap, it was just a little bit of an arm slap. You can see that uh, Dr. Mini here putting his full body weight and power into this one. That's Boom! And snap the chin too. That's what we, we call a proper technique. Boy, <laughs> that was like a slap into reality or out of it, however you look yes. at it. Man, where I am? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think Sievruk's, uh <laughs> even thought that it was going to be that bad. He's like, okay, go ahead and hit me. And then he got hit. And, uh, well, he knows what Slap Fighting Championship is all about now. <laughs> oh, look at that face, too. Raging Bull. All right, round number two. Remember, folks, we've got three rounds to settle it between these two. You can win by knockout, submission, or you can win by judge's decision. We can uh, hear some uh, tips uh, from uh, Shevruk, uh, let's say, corner. Have a loose hand, uh, Pavel. We will see if he will lose a uh, hand and uh, if uh, his opponent will lose, will be loose uh, about uh, after the slap. Nah. Mm -mm. Ooh. He's got no technique. Yeah, he is just slapping by his hand. Uh, uh, not by his uh, whole body, like his opponent uh, did in the first round. Yeah, and Kumala went into like a zen-like state after that second fight. I think he's, yeah, he's like, I've got it now. Take a look. Ah, what? Well, not there. He just, he doesn't have any power. He doesn't have any technique. And uh, you know, Kumala, I think inside of his head, he's like, I got this. And look at that. It was an illegal shot too. He got him in the neck and under the chin. So. Poor technique, no power, and it was illegal. So if it does go the distance, if we do, do go the full three rounds, uh, things looking a lot better here for Kumalo. What these guys uh, uh, have in their minds right now? <laughs> I think Kumalo, his confidence has got to be booming right now. And he's about to drop the boom across Sievruk's face. And I believe he's asking the referee uh, how many times, you know, he can warm up before he hits him. And he's allowed to, he's, he's got to let it rip on the third time. We've seen instances before, Daniel, where people try to fake each other out. And, you know, they try to make it seem like they're going to hit you. Uh, and then they don't. And again, the referee warning him that you've got to, 
You can warm up twice and then you got to let it rip. Are they, are they postponing a sentence for, for Shevruk? Uh, there's a lot of Polish speaking going on there, and obviously he doesn't understand any of it. He's just... You can speak to him as much as you want in Polish. I don't think it's going to work so good. Okay, I think he's got it now. Oh! But he's uh, staying. Yep, I don't think that was as good as the first. It was a little bit high, I think. A little bit high up in the upper cheekbone that time, but still a good shot. Uh, and it looks like this one could go to round three here. Let's take another look at it. Well, after... Uh, oh, and he got him in the ear that time, it looked like. That's why they've got that cotton in their ears, because you can definitely burst an eardrum. And he got him right in the upper cheek area and into the in the temple and in the ear. He got him all over that place that time. In my opinion, MK could lost his focus during all that time. That, right. Yes, that, that there was explanations from, from the judges. Could have been too focused on yes. what the rules are rather than how he's going to hit his opponent. Nevertheless, we move on. You can see <laughs> he's definitely feeling that shot. The last chance uh, for Shevruk. that area. Third round coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shevruk really needs to pull himself together here. He's got one more round to show the judges that he deserves to win this thing. Or, best case scenario, he just knocks his opponent out. I don't think he's got the power to do that, though. No power, no technique. But he is tough. He... He's taken the best shots that Kumalo has so far, and he's still standing. Got to give him that much. Yes, definitely a ton of character uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in the Polish side. So this is his last chance to make things different. Oh, that was the worst one. And look at the reaction from Kumalo. He's like, what? Has it happened yet? <laughs> When's he gonna hit me, you know? Usually the third one's the worst one because you've already been hit twice. You know, your, your face is aching from pain and you're like, oh man, I don't want to take another one, but eh. No, 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 no. This, this look, looked like a push. I think this head. guy would be, he would be better suited for slap ass than for slap <laughs> yes. face. We will see slap ass uh, today, but we won't tell you too much uh, right now. We, you will see definitely what is it, uh, what, what we are talking about right now. Well, we've still got one slap left and that one belongs to Kumalo. Let's see what he can do. Can he end this thing? If he doesn't, I still think he's got Probably the best chance to win it on the scorecards. Now, there's still this this talk about the rules. Just hit him. <laughs> Just let him have it. Well, again. Two times you can prepare, yeah. and then you are hitting. So now, actually, Siavruk has a chance to win because the other guy could be disqualified. That's his best chance of winning right now. I'm not sure uh, if uh, Shevruk uh, is winning on the scorecards, but as you said, <laughs> this is his uh, probably only chance to win uh, this clash. You do this, and one, this is not one, this is second. One is not one, one is two. We will have a timeout. We maybe need a translation timeout here. This, all of this should have been talked out, I think, Daniel, before the event went on the air. It should have been clear, like, you know, when you go to an MMA fight, a kickboxing, there's always a rules discussion with the fighters. I don't know if he wasn't present for that or if he didn't understand it, if it was a translation problem, but uh, all of this should have been made clear at the rules meeting. But look at that, he's, what, how many times was that? Three, four times that he was trying to... And you can see the look on Sievruk's face, he is not impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a result.
by judge's decision. Your winner is me, MK Still the winner, even though he had only two slaps, to Shevruk's three. I, I think mean, it's fair, though. I think uh, Shevruk is happy because uh, there was no third slap, no third <laughs> round. Pavel, uh, what do you have? Uh, what, do you, what would you like to say about uh, your fight with MK? Yeah, it was short and. <laughs> Uh, very, very even. <laughs> I was uh, preparing very short. No, dobrze, ale może jest to też tak naprawdę powód do tego, aby zmienić podejście. Może tak naprawdę jest to. Maybe you should uh, change your uh, mindset about your next fight. This is a very good lesson for future. I don't know what I wanted uh, to say. I'm not good in such interviews. I'm glad that I, I've competed. <laughs> respect for me and uh, respect for my opponent. He, go, he shown a very good uh, performance today. Mini, MK, um, how would you comment your, your fight? Ah, it was fair enough. It was fair enough. Although some of the rules I couldn't understand because of Polish, uh, there was some confusion. But it was fair enough, you know. I'm very happy. Uh, Cold winner, but I had two rounds. Uh, no words can explain how happy I am, but numbers can. It's nine out of ten, you know. Uh, the one is because I didn't get my last round, but I'm very happy. All thanks to the Almighty and all thanks to my family. Uh, what can you say about your opponent? Oh, uh, it wasn't personal. It wasn't personal. But yeah, yeah, I did. I did it. I did it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's back to the slap fighting championship underground. It's time for next fight. Super heavyweight division. Let me welcome Marek Marek Marek. <laughs> I'm Marek Nering, I'm from Świebodzin, I'm 49 years old. I'm the oldest competitor of the event, but it doesn't matter. This won't be my first fight in slap fighting. I was fighting at Punch Down 4, where I had a, a, a super fight, and at Punch, punch Down 5, I was competing in a tournament. I'm an arm wrestler, I'm training it for nine years, for seven years, I'm a pro. I was uh, competing uh, in world championship. Uh, my hands are very well prepared uh, for slap fighting. Uh, well trained, uh, very, very strong. I came here for a win. I don't know anything about uh, my opponents, but that's good. I would like uh, to have uh, this uh, fight uh, at punch down, like a punch, punch down for a coin toss. Uh, he, he hits, I'm hitting, there's KO. Hold on, uh, man. This hand will destroy you. And his opponent, Tomasz Kalemba Muro. I'm a Tomasz Kalemba, I'm 20, 37 years old, I'm from Poznań. My nickname uh, because of my job, I'm a bricklayer. 
I think uh, my hit uh, will be strong uh, as a brick uh, from the second floor. Uh, I haven't uh, trained uh, any sport. Uh, I don't uh, need it. What I like, uh, I like to uh, eat good, eat a lot of, and uh, then lay on a, a couch and rest. Uh, I was planning uh, my slap fighting debut uh, for for the for a long time. I would like to challenge myself to uh, see my face uh, durability and uh, power of my hand. I have never uh, checked it uh, this, uh, this, uh, in this fashion. If I win, of course, yes. If I respect my opponent, of course, uh, I'm respecting him, uh, but uh, I don't uh, will uh, treat him easily. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start next fight. Round number one. Heavyweight division, Daniel, at Slap Fighting Championship Underground. My name is Daniel Austin alongside Daniel Jubitsky, and we have got the big boys in action right now. Uh, definitely. Uh... A new guy, uh, Tomasz Kalemba, who, who has a bricklaying background, uh, so he have to, uh, you know, uh, taking uh, a bricks. Uh, bricks are heavy, so it's almost like a gym. Uh, so fr uh, from the other hand, we have a, a slap fighting veteran, Maras uh, Marek Nering, who is a uh, arm wrestler. So this this uh, seems to be a perfect background. Uh, for a, for a competition like this, and you know what? This is the kind of sport where you don't have to be a professional athlete to be good. Guys like uh, Muraj, who are just bricklayers, sometimes do very very well uh, in in competitions like this. Guys who are short, heavy, have got big necks. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he flinched. He flinched big time there. He knew it was coming, but he took it. It may affect the scorecards later if we get that far, but for now, that was a decent first foray into Slap Fight Championship. We'll see how Maras will respond. He is from Świebodzin. Świebodzin is called uh, Polish Rio de Janeiro. Uh, why? Because uh, there is a huge statue of Jesus Christ, uh, 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 exactly like in Rio. We'll see uh, if uh, the Jesus from Świebodzin will help uh, Marek Nering in his uh, next uh, <laughs> round of Slap. Look at that. That was a decent slap, but you can see there's a little bit of chalk there on his shoulder, so he may have grazed the shoulder area there. But I think that's because uh, Nering flinched a bit. But now the big guy is gonna have his shot, and as you can see, there is an obvious height differential between these two. Uh, will Nering be able to use that to his advantage? There's some judges discussion. They may be talking about uh, the flinching on the part of Maras. Here we go. First slap for the 49-year-old. He's got to get his shoulders down lower. Oh, that was good. That was a good start there, Daniel. He wobbled him and sent him back a few steps. The bricklayer almost got laid out. Oh, his eyes are blinking and he's having a little think about that one. We will see this on the replay, but uh, you can clearly see that Nering uh, is a veteran of uh, this sport. Oh yeah, he, he earned his respect right there. That was a very nicely placed shot there, right on the cheek and on the chin. You can see his head wobble back and forth there. A pretty good indicator that he got him with that one. Good technique, uh, lots of power. Definitely his opponent uh, felt it. And we will see how he will uh, do in the second round. So Tomasz Kalemba getting ready for his second strike of the evening. He did, uh, he did land a pretty good shot in the first one. I think he caught the shoulder a little bit here. This time he's looking to get a nice clean shot in on Nearing. 
these two pacing around like lions, getting ready for round number two. And I think the referee is going to have one more look over just to make sure that he can continue. Safety, of course, needs to be adhered to at all times. It's a very violent sport. And there's no sense letting the fight go on if it doesn't have to. Maras uh, was uh, talking about his uh, punch down debut when he knocked out uh, Adam Arnold uh, Lubczyński. Uh, when uh, he was slapping second, his his opponent won a coin toss. Uh, he uh, thrown his opponent uh, thrown the slap, and then uh, his opponent got knocked out. We will see here. We won't have a replay, definitely. Yeah, and remember at punch down four, Nearing got the best KO of the evening. Mmm. Ah, man, not a whole lot done on that one. A decent slap. Didn't quite have the pow the same power as in the first one. I think that uh, after he took that first slap, that changed him a little bit, and he didn't quite have the same kind of fire as he did in the first one. Yeah, you can see from the reaction there of Maras that maybe he was expecting more there. And uh, that's got to do wonders for his confidence here as he prepares for his second slap. The first slap of Maras made an impact. We'll see uh, how he will do in the second attempt. Lots of focus here. There's also... A, uh, Referee's conferring yeah. once again about something here. Boy, I love the atmosphere here at Slap Fighting Championship Underground. All right, we are ready to resume. Second slap here for Nering. Oh, popped him good here. Did you hear the slap? The sound of that one, it was like a popping sound. He's giving the thumbs up sign though. Murash still standing uh, like an El Elton John, but I don't know uh, if he will sink. Definitely he uh, will have to recover, but uh, I think uh, he took it in a better fashion than uh, the first slap of Maras. Well, he said in his interview he likes eating, but he has eaten a couple of very hard slaps here from Maras, but still standing. You can certainly see, though, if we're judging by damage inflicted so far, though, I think that Maras is way ahead. You can just tell by the legs buckling, the fact that he's taking some steps uh, backwards, the way his eyes are blinking, the visible damage, which you can see here. Uh, Maras, a much taller individual, much longer arms. Uh, an arm wrestler has some very powerful shoulders and biceps and uh, is able to inflict a lot more damage. So we move into round three here, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind, they do have 30 seconds uh, between slaps to compose themselves. The judges will also make sure that they are fit to compete. And the bricklayer from Poland, Tomasz Muraj Kalemba. He's got his final strike of the contest coming up. Niering looks in much better shape here. He's got a clearer mind. He's got his chin way down low, though. I don't know if they'll allow that. All right, one more chance here. Let's see what he's got. Nah, not much behind there, and also an illegal shot, yeah, according not, to Maras. Not very clean shot. A little bit Indeed. low, and he hit him in the shoulder again. He's, he's hitting him in the shoulder. He's got a disadvantage here, though, because he's got shorter arms, uh, and he's a lot shorter, and so the way that he has the strike at like an upward angle uh, makes it difficult for him, I think. You know, but uh, if you're shorter, 
you have to solve it and uh, if you doing like this uh, as we can see you are doing a technical mistake yeah and i think i could see from the reaction of uh moraj that he felt that it maybe threw his shoulder out or he hurt his arm look at that he, yeah. he is hurting more than his opponent is almost this is not a good sign for him and obviously maras uh a little bit po'd there about being hit in the neck rightfully so Yeah, look, I think he hurt his elbow. He hurt his own arm there, hitting Maras that time. But that's his last strike, and so now he'll just have to deal with uh, Muraj one more time. Do you think that Muraj can put him away with this last slap? I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's got a shot here. I think he can. He's Each strike so far has been getting progressively more oh, violent. You, you said about uh, Muras to uh, Mara, uh, sorry, Ma Maras to Muras. Maras to Muras, uh, very, Maras to Maras, yes. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, very, the tall uh, very guy similar. to the short yeah, guy. The, the, yeah, definitely. Uh, Marek Nering uh, can knock uh, his opponent out. The two uh, first laps, two very, very first uh, rounds attempts uh, were very uh, strong, uh, very good and technical. And we, we will see if he will finish him or not. Oh, God! And the lights go out now! Muraj is flat on his back! There's a medical check, a necessary medical check, because that was very hard. We can oh, see stretcher. Oh, they're bringing the stretcher here. He is out like a light. Well, I said it, a punch down four. Uh, Maras won best KO of the evening. He may have won it here tonight as well. He needed uh, three rounds to do it, but it's uh, still very effective. Watch this. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. And, uh, you know, where were the guys when he was falling down? Where are the security here? They're sleeping on the job. Look at that. Should have been a little bit more ready for that because, you, you know, you don't want the guy to hit his head on the ground or something. And uh, you see the eyes roll back in the head, like a B-level horror movie. And uh, well, I hope he's okay. He's definitely gonna need some medical attention here, break out the smelling salts or something to wake this guy up. But that was a terrifying knockout from the six foot six, 49 year old Marek Naringas, who's proving that age is only a number. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner by knockout, Marek Oh, uh, like a little smooch there for the ring girl. Tomek, uh, did you expect uh, the finish of this fight? I was expecting that uh, a bit, uh, and I, I'm glad that it, uh, he needed uh, three uh, slaps uh, to knock me out. But I think it's, it was good. I was thinking about uh, me being knocked out. I saw uh, his fights before, and I have a massive respect for him. What can I say more? It was a really nice uh, challenge. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, I uh, could not uh, fall uh, by a first shot. Yes, Marek is uh, much more uh, taller than me, much more stronger and older than me. I think that uh, his next uh, opponent can finish uh, like me. Do you think about another time in slap fighting? I'm not excluding uh, the second uh, fight in slap fighting. Maybe next time you will be better prepared. To be honest, 
My preparing was uh, like a couple of days. Uh, I knew about my fight uh, much uh, uh, earlier. It's definitely my fault, the, la the lack of preparing. What can I uh, say more? It's my fault, but uh, it was uh, badass uh, fight. Marek, uh, how could you commentate uh, your fight? We opinion. You no knocked out your opponent not the first time. Yes, this, this was not uh, my first time when I'm knocking out my opponent. But uh, it uh, took me a bit longer during uh, my debut. It was uh, first slap and it was over here. I, I, I needed uh, three slaps. What, what was the emotions uh, in your head? I'm experienced. It's not my. Uh, it was not my uh, first fight. I knew how my head uh, reacts on the hits. Uh, always uh, my opponent uh, can knock me out. His uh, hits uh, wasn't uh, impressed uh, on me. I was calm, uh, I had uh, headphones, uh, listening music, I, I don't uh, say that I was not stressed. You, you can't be uh, stressed a bit uh, in this sport because there is no option of being totally calm. Your opinion on your opponent, very tough guy, it was his debut. He had a uh, very uh, hard head, uh, very hard uh, neck. It was hard uh, uh, to knock him out uh, in, in general. My uh, first uh, slap wasn't uh, very strong, the second was better and uh, the third one was the, was, uh, the harder. It was uh, uh, perfect, uh, I focused uh, on the technique, on the proper technique and uh, I knocked him out. My opponent uh, was uh, nice, uh, very, very good. I can uh, congratulate him on this uh, performance. Uh, very nice, positive uh, guy. And I hope uh, that uh, he is well right now. And he is conscious. He, he will hurt uh, one or two days and uh, he will be nice. Thank you very much.